All right, we are recording. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the second installment of our Heartbeat Artist Interview Series. Heartbeat is our annual art show at Ajax Public Library that features high school students. And this year we are hosting our gallery entirely virtually. You can view the gallery on our website at ajaxlibrary.ca. And we will also be hosting a live gallery viewing on our Facebook Live on May 17th at five o'clock. There will also be an on-demand video of the gallery, which will be available on our YouTube with all the art, as well as videos of these artist statements and videos of um, the artist interviews as well. So today we are joined by Ikra from Pickering High School, who submitted two pieces. Hi, Ikra. Um, the first is I Love That Perfume, which depicts the iconic Marc Jacobs bottle that I'm sure a few of us have in our bathrooms. And her second piece is Fresh and Fabulous, which depicts a rich presentation of fruits set on a table. So thank you so much for joining us, Ikra. And I'm also joined by Ashna, who is a member of our teen advisory committee, and she's going to help me facilitate this interview. Hi, Ashna. Hello. And so Ikra, basically, uh, we'd like to ask you a few questions. I would love to ask you some questions specifically about the pieces you submitted for this year's show. And then Ashna is going to ask you some more general questions about your practice and about how art factors into your life. So. First, before we get started, we want to show everybody the pieces that we're talking about. So here they are. We have Fresh and Fabulous on the left and I Love That Perfume on the right. So I'm just gonna get right into it and start asking you some questions, Ikra. First being, what were the assignments that inspired these paintings? Okay, so for Fresh and Fabulous, we had an assignment where um, we had to choose any fruit and take a picture of it. And then we had to recreate that picture using acrylic glazing. And then the second one, uh, I love that perfume. Um, we had to use watercolor to paint any piece of glassware. Okay, so with the acrylic glazing, is that why Fresh and Fabulous has that sort of shiny quality to it? What is acrylic glazing, just for my knowledge? Okay, well, a glazing is when, um, so first I painted it in like black and white and brown, just as an underpainting. And then I went over it with colored glaze. And yeah, that's why it has like that shine quality to it. Okay, the comment I always make about Fresh and Fabulous is that it looks like it's a, like a Renaissance painting in a museum. It just, it looks, it has that sort of older quality to it. It's gorgeous. And then the Marc Jacobs was an assignment about painting glassware. That's yeah. so interesting. And so it's sort of come up a little bit already, but can you just talk about the two mediums that you use to paint each of these pieces? They're both very different, clearly. Okay, yeah. So first it was acrylic. So to glaze, we had to, um, first we used um, black and white and burnt umber to paint the fruits in just an achromatic color scheme. And then after that, we used acrylic paint and this thing called a glazing medium that basically made the paint transparent so we could go over the older painting with colors. And then all the values from underneath would show through. And then the second one, I used watercolor. And in class, we learned a lot of tips concerning watercolor before we started this painting. And I thought it was a really fun medium to work with. Yeah, they're both. They're both very effective. They're both gorgeous. Um, obviously, I we talked about when you were in our class and when it was in the, the quad masters you've had. So in terms of the circumstances of this school year, where did you end up painting these two paintings? I um, ended up mostly painting them at home in my room, which worked out because I do a lot of art in my room on my own time anyways. And sometimes we would get studio time at the school while school was open sometimes which was also helpful because all the materials were there. But yeah. Yeah. Do you have a bunch of your own paints or were you able to take materials home with you as well? I used both. I was able to take some of the painting paints from um, art class, but I also have my own materials that I use. Wow. Okay. Well, it's good that it's something that you enjoy so much to do on your own time as well. That's fantastic. Um, just in terms of creating both of these pieces, can you describe the process of creating these works? Were there any difficulties or highlights you encountered that you want to mention about your creative process with both of these? 
Okay, so first, first off, I had to stage the um, photographs that I had to take. So I took a lot of pictures and then I had to choose from like a whole bunch and then edit them. And it was a long process. And then after that, I had to sketch them out. And I feel like I didn't um, take as much time as I should have in this stage because I was excited to get to the painting part. So I didn't get a lot of, um, of the proportion right at first and I had to go over it a lot and fix a lot of mistakes. So I would definitely say that if I were to do it again, I would spend more time in the sketching stage. And then came the painting, which it was fun. And um, it had a lot of trial and error and I learned a lot of new things while I did it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It sounded, it's, it's interesting. I, I, the comment that I make is that they're both so photorealistic. So it's interesting to find out that there were actually photos involved and this sort of dovetails perfectly into my next question, because obviously with both of these paintings, we're dealing with photorealistic depictions of life. So just uh, curious, do you enjoy drawing from life or was it the assignments that made it so? Um, I really enjoy drawing from life. I think that's my favorite way to work because I really love seeing all the beautiful stuff around me and it just makes me want to like put it down on a page. And it's just something I really enjoy, yeah. That, that's perfect. Then these assignments really worked out for you then. That's amazing. It's so interesting to hear about the creation of both of these pieces. It's definitely given me more of an idea of how they came to life because they're both, as I've said before, they're so effective. Um, Fresh and Fabulous is so rich. I love how one really has that airy, glassy quality. And then the Fresh and Fabulous is so deep with all the different colors. Um, those were my questions that I had about these two paintings specifically. I'm gonna pass it over to Ashna who has, as I was saying before, some more general questions for you about art in your life. Hello, Ikra. Hi. So before I start, I just want to say your pieces are really beautiful and I could tell like how much work was put into it and it's just really realistic and I just want to tell that before I start my questions. Thank you so much. Okay, so my first question is, what is your preferred medium to work with? So I heard that you used um, acrylic glazing and watercolor. Are these your preferred mediums or are there other different type of mediums that you would like to work with? I think paint is definitely my favorite, especially acrylic and watercolor. I actually hadn't ever done glazing before this, but I, I really liked how um, the process turned out. I also really enjoyed doing digital art. That's another aspect of, but mostly it's um, paint that I use. So um, did you create any like um, good pieces in digital art so far or? Yeah, I have a lot of um, paintings that I've done digitally. Okay, so that's good to know. Um, my next question is, can you describe your process for creating any new piece? Okay, so first uh, comes the planning stage. So first I compile a whole bunch of like pictures and references of like poses or objects or colors or even just like vibes or energies I want my um, painting or art to give off. And then after that, I sometimes I will, um, plan out little compositions on like a piece of sketchbook paper. But other than that, I usually don't sketch out much and I just go right at it and trust the process as I go and use trial and error a lot. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. Like I would never imagine just like going in and painting something beautiful without a sketch. So <laughs> it's incredible. Um, my next question is what were your sources of inspiration and are there any artists or styles that particularly influenced you um, in these two pieces? In these two pieces? Well, um, I looked online at a lot of glassware paintings and I thought they were really cool and I also really love this perfume my mom has it so I use that I like I just love how it glows and stuff and I named it I love that perfume because whenever I showed the painting to somebody they would tell me I love that perfume <laughs> and for the fruits I wanted to do one with like um, a lot of range so that I could practice like the bananas and the apples and the grapes they're all, they all had really different processes. And yeah, that's basically it for these two pieces. 
And also, I just want to ask, is there anyone that influences you in general, your artwork in general? Um, well, I, I follow a lot of like artists on Instagram. I get a lot of my um, inspiration from them, but I don't really know anyone specific. Okay, so that's fine. My next question is, what are the skills or techniques that you learned or fostered in art class? Okay, so in art class, first we learned a lot of watercolor techniques. So in this painting specifically, I learned that I could use masking fluid to like put little white highlights and I could use things like magic eraser or sponges to lift off some of the paint for um, making some parts lighter. And I also learned a lot about glazing. It's a medium I'd never worked with before. And other than these paintings, we did a lot of other things too, like we learned about assemblage and a lot of artists that use that and we had to make like a shadow box like Joseph Cornell if you know him but basically yeah we did a lot of things like that and we learned about um figure drawing too so we just we were taught a lot a big variety of skills in art class yeah, I can't believe that like some techniques that you use in these artworks were just techniques that you just learned, especially the fact that you also didn't use acrylic glazing that like it definitely doesn't show in the art pieces. They look like professional and, um, artwork. Um, next, uh, my last question actually is, how do you see art factoring in your life in the future? I definitely want to keep art in my future. I'm not sure if I want a career in it or what just yet, but I definitely want it as either a hobby or a side hustle because I really love it and it, enha it enhances my life and it allows me to express myself in ways that I can't with it, like anything else. But yeah, I definitely want to keep it around. Well, that is the answer that I definitely want to hear because I want both of these paintings on my wall. They're both so gorgeous. So. <laughs> please, at, at least as a side hassle, as something or as something you really enjoy that you share, please keep making art because you are so good at it. Um, do you have any more questions, Ashna, just off the cuff that you can think of? My question, I, I just have another one is, yeah. when, did, when did you start doing art? That's a great oh, question. I started when I was like really small. I would get like Crayola markers and printer paper and draw whatever. I saw on like TV and stuff, and I just kept it as a hobby as I grew up. That's amazing. So it's always been a bit of a passion for you. Yeah. Wow. It well, it definitely shows. And y even though you were saying that you learned a lot of techniques, I I'm curious: is that whiteout technique in these pieces as well? Of what though you were saying that you learned that as a technique in school? Oh yeah. Okay. Um. But it definitely, it show like, I, I think your ability really shows in these paintings, even if you were learning some new techniques for the first time. That's a great question, Ashna. Um, I also, this is just a question I had. What are the sizes of these paintings? Because we, of course, are seeing them online this year. Right. So um, I'm not sure the exact size, but they're, the painting one is pretty small, I guess, like, this big. It was just like on a regular canvas. Wow. Um, okay. Yeah. And then the watercolor one is as big as like a poster. Like. Wow. It's funny to hear about this because of course with the photos, we have no idea of the dimensions. So it's so interesting to know if we were seeing these in person, what sort of size we'd be looking at. I thought Fresh and Fabulous would be really big, but um, oh my goodness, that is. And I, I guess both paintings are at home right now as well. Uh, they're at school with my art oh, teacher. They're at, they're at school. Okay, of course. Um, well, I hope they end up in auction one day. That's all I know. <laughs> um, okay, Ashna, that was a fabulous question. Do you have any other questions for Ikra? Um, no, I just want to say um, your art artistic talent is amazing. Um, and uh, I definitely think you're going to be able to do like so much with art in the future. And you could definitely inspire other people to continue with art, especially you being a very young and doing art like this. It's just really inspiring to other high school students. And um, 
Yep, and that's it. And thank you so much for answering my question. It makes me really happy that you think so. Thank you so much. Hey, I have to echo um, Ashna. We're so grateful that you could join us and so grateful that you have pieces in our show and that you could come and talk to us about your practice and share this work because I think as much as we really wanted to create a virtual space to celebrate all this work, which we've seen from this interview is truly astounding work. Um, it's the, the second half is finding out about the process and getting to talk to you about how you came to create these pieces. So thank you so much for joining us today, Ikra. Thank you for having me. Of course.